views. What is a view? A view is literally an overlay or a virtual table. How do you create a view? You create a view and alter a view or drop a view with this syntax. These are the syntax diagrams, somewhat simplified for views. Once again, a view is a virtual table. So what you do is you create a view by selecting columns from either one or more tables. Subsequently, you can select the data from the view, which would actually select the data from the underlying tables executing the SQL statement. Personally, I don't like to use views. For one simple reason, they're extremely inefficient. They can be useful in some circumstances, but the temptation for developers is to create highly complex joins and place them into views. Very nice, very elegant, very neat. The problem is what a developer will typically do is then execute a SQL statement against that view with a filtering clause. The important thing to note about a view is that whatever the SQL statement that is stored in the view will always be executed no matter how much data you select in that view. Let's take, for example, you have a view that runs a SQL statement that selects a million rows from various tables. Then another developer comes along, is not really sure what the view does, thinks it might be a table, executes a SQL statement that selects 1% of those records. Effectively, what that developer is doing is executing the SQL in the view to find a million rows, and then he's executing another SQL statement after that on the data in memory and filtering out to get his 1% result. It would be much more efficient for him to execute the SQL statement in the view itself with his filtering clause on top of that SQL statement. That's why I don't like to use views. Here is a simple view we will use as an example.